Hey everybody, it's Tiny Green here at the Hoop Group after an amazing night of basketball over at Brick Township in the SET semifinals. And what did we find out? I got both predictions wrong. I had I had St. John Vianney and I had Rumson, and guess what? I called them both wrong. But the fellow sitting to my right right here, Mr. Fence, right, he got them both right. Our skills director, he was bragging about it. He told me last night he was going to win, and got it, he was right. Ryan, what are your thoughts right now? Well, first off, we had a little internet problem right before tip-off last night. Oh, you yes. almost didn't get your blog out on time. That's right. You probably shouldn't have gotten your blog out on time because you were over two, my man. <laughs> I had, you know, Madness <laughs> Juan, Mabry, and St. Rose with Coach Whalen. I knew they were both going to come out on top. I've heard SJV over and over and over from you. So I'm so glad that I'm 2-0. An awesome night last night. Right. Um, but I got to give you a little credit, Tiny. You know, all summer working academically, seeing the girls working out, boot camp, all those uh, programs you have. I got to know just as much as you. So I'm starting to climb up on you, Tiny. I'm starting to climb up on you. So Ryan, what yep. you're basically telling me is I need to get out of the prediction business. Is that what you're trying to tell me? Yes. Stick with core skills, stick with dead eye shooting, leave the prediction to me. To the people who know. The people they know. Yep. Okay. So now look, in the first game, it was amazing. I mean, Mabry put on a show. She really did. And then Hagerman, the kid was unbelievable. I mean, second shot points in the fourth quarter, and then of course the winner was amazing. And then in the second game, your girl, Kitty Cat, meow, baby, she went off. Give me your thoughts on that. Well, first off, Mabry, we had a lot of Division I players that were there last night. A lot yeah. of Division I players. Oh, yeah. I think we saw last night how Mabry is a whole different level of yeah. Division One player than everybody else. Yeah, I so I think that showed in her stats. She filled it up with 25 points, yeah. eight rebounds, assists, steals. Insane. Insane. So she went to a different level than all the other Division I players. And the other one, Cat, though, that's, I'm sorry, not surprised to me. How, how often do you see her shooting around in this gym? Every day. Game Every days? Game days? Practice days? Yeah. She's always here. I'm not surprised one bit. Right. So, with my predictions, I was very confident that you were going to be wrong. Now, I'm going to say this, Ryan. What an atmosphere. Pat to the gills last night. Also, college coaches everywhere. Then the energy in the building was off the charts. And then, of course, we had so many young players there who want to be future high school players in the shore. Watch, it was, it was just an amazing experience. Now we get to the most important thing. Now the finals. Now the finals, because it's obvious you have figured out this thing. Yep. Give me your thoughts on who we're going to see in the finals. This is a tough one. You know, I met Joe Whalen this summer, spent a lot of time with him. Love how these guys were playing, these girls were playing in um, the boardwalk. I think they have a great balance. I think they all understand their roles. They play well off each other. But you know what? I'm going with Manus Wow! They got the best player on the court. Right. Um, great, terrific young coach. Right. A lot of good pieces. They're starting to figure it out, playing right at the right time. And hey, I live in Manus so I'm going with Manus All right. That leaves me with St. Rose. Yep. Let me tell you something. I like any team with Jess Laurel. Sarah Kurtz, who's already won an SET, and then the Kitty Cat, who's balling right now, and then of course, everybody's to get these two. Darkness, Peyton Smith, darkness, baby! Turning out the lights on people. And then, Sidney Napolitano, who yesterday, late in the game twice, gets in the lane to score. St. Rose, right? I'm sticking with St. Rose. Now that might be bad news for St. Rose, that I'm picking them, but I'm sticking with St. Rose. Hey, what we uh, what we put, we put a little friendly uh, agreement Oh, yes, there? you're going to be buying me coffee every day for the next week. Just trust me, come Sunday morning. Uh, every day? Every day. And what if I will? Uh, I'm going to clean your car. I see your car, I'm going to clean your car, right? I have a request. Yes, go ahead. You have to come up and work a week camp up at the Poconos, Ooh, the skills camp. That's a better one. You're the skills director. I got to come and do a week up at the Poconos. Yep. But if you lose, you got to come help me for a week at Core Skills. Deal. Done. All right, there we go. Say Rose, let's go. Go Swan.